Hi there, I'm Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm very excited today to show you Spitfire Solo Strings. This is an entirely new string library. Um, it features three violinists, viola, cello and double bass, recorded in the Hall Air Lyndhurst Studios in London. This is designed to lock into the existing Spitfire chamber strings and Spitfire symphonic strings. And so it shares quite a few of the same or very similar kinds of articulations. So I'm going to walk you through uh, and just play some of this stuff so you can hear how the different instruments sound. We'll start with our first violin, which is called the Virtuoso Violin, and we'll start with the Spiccato. We've got a slightly longer staccato. And then we might as well stay with our short articulations. We have a pizzicato or plucked. Colenio or struck with the back of the bow, the wood part of the bow. short harmonic, a brushed or more baroque consordino short, and then we're into our kind of longer articulations. So Let's go back to our straightforward long note. And I'm going to control the dynamics you can see here on the mod wheel. Um, and then the vibrato I'm going to control as well from a, a slider CC control here. So you can see we've got different levels of vibrato and this really is focused at that very, very intense kind of singing performance to, to really shoot over the top of the, um, the rest of the orchestra. Um, you can also control your dynamics at the same time. So you, you can really get a kind of very musical performance out of this. Let's listen to the console, you know, the muted equivalent. And then our flautando, which sounds really lovely played. Um, I'll play you a chord so you can hear the idea of it. So it really is as kind of soft and floaty as you can make it. Here are our normal long harmonics. Again, dynamic control. Um, this is called a progressive long. Now, the idea behind this articulation is that you start non-verb without any vibrato, and then gradually introduce the vibrato. And it gives you the ability to get a very, very natural sound of going from, from non-vib to vib, which is sometimes, a, it's a different kind of sound, sometimes more useful than trying to crossfade between the two, but it sounds like this. So you get that kind of progressive beginning to the vibrato. Very, very useful. Um, sol pont. And then our effect kind of articulations, tremolo. And finally, trills. the minor trill. 
So that's the virtuoso violin. Let's look at our first desk violin next. And I'll set up roughly the same mix. And let's check out the spiccato. There's two types of pizzicato in this one. There's a mandolin pizzicato, which is obviously holding the violin slightly more like a mandolin and kind of just brushing. So it's a different kind of texture. Let's check out our longs. So even at the kind of full tilt molto verb, it doesn't have quite the same um, slightly on the edge of your seat quality. It's it's a bit more restrained. So this is much more like a, a, the leader of the orchestra, the kind of first chair sitting, playing a leading part within the context of an orchestration. So it's not the it's not your kind of concert hall soloist standing at the front, um, but it is a soloistic style. So that's a, a really useful thing as well. And let's just check out some of the other articulations while we're here. So let's check out the flautando. And then maybe the trems. So you can hear there we've got a, you know, a really nice kind of different texture to the or to the other violin. Let's check out progressive. Now this one contains some slightly more, a slightly more what you might call modern film and TV kind of performance style. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate that with the longs. Just check this out. It's more, more kind of filmic, I guess. It's got a really lovely flautando as well. And then if we check out the spiccato here, Probably an interesting moment to look at the individual mics. Let's look at the close mic. The tree. And the ambience. So you can hear the different texture that each mic brings to the party. And if I play them in real time. You can hear how the aperture is changing the kind of intensity and the closeness of the sound changes as you change the balance of the microphones that you have which is a really useful thing to have um, we have uh, the, again similar articulations the brushed but on the progressive they're performed in a slightly different style uh, mandolin pits is a, a lot more brittle than the other one um, but you've got your normal pits as well so let us look at the cello next. Spiccato first. Let's check out the longs. So you can hear there within the three levels of vibrato that you have and, and the dynamics that you've got available within there, um, you can really get an expressive performance from the patch. Let's check out the consorts. Mm -hmm. 
Flautando, particularly lovely. Um, and then again, we have harmonics. Are progressive. Which is again very very useful. Pizzicatos, Carleños, short harmonics, and a, the usual trems. Our trills, uh, as usual. Okay, so let's look at the bass and let's start with spiccato. Our pizzas. Now we have a separate pizzicato which is which rings out more. So that's for when you want an undamped pizzicato. Uh, the other one is much more for playing kind of faster or more damped passages. Our normal long notes. So a nice wide range of dynamic there. Uh, flautando. That is really lovely. Very, very soft. Uh, harmonics. <laughs> Love those. So delicate. Very, very beautiful. Um, we've got a nice progressive long, so you can still hear this, even though it's down in the in the depths. It is a really useful sound that. Um, Sol Pont. Nice and aggressive down there. And then uh, the longer staccatos. Um, we've got the short harmonics. Brushed consort. And then obviously things like the trems. And then trills. Uh, which are great as well. Let's look at the viola. Again, here we'll start with the spiccato. Pitzes. Forgot to mention that. Um, so you've got your Bartok pits at the top dynamic. And here is the alternative, the mandolin. Really lovely stuff. Um, progressive long. We've got our normal longs here. So you can hear, again, very, very expressive. Our lovely consorts there. 
Um, and then also let's check out the salt ponds. Beautiful stuff. Okay, um, and uh, as before, things like the coal leg. So just for fun, I'm going to put up, in fact, I'm just going to leave the tree mic up. Let's just leave the tree mic up. Let's set the spiccato and let's collapse this window. I'm going to put all of the instruments in and set them all up with the spiccato. And with the bass, I'm setting transpose to minus 12, just so it plays in octaves with the cello. Um, so just for fun, we have all of those instruments. We, you would never do it like this, probably. You would feather it. But I just wanted to see what it sounded like with everything playing. So you can hear they really lock together nicely um, within the stereo image field as well as you know the sound of the instruments. Um, so when you when you're using these to compose as one unit, they fit really really well with each other. But also within the context of chamber strings and symphonic strings as well, everything designed to work out of the box exactly how you need it to work. So that's a quick look at Spitfire Solo Strings, our all new string library. This is designed to interface perfectly with the chamber strings and the symphonic strings. And also standalone, it's a really great creative and inspirational resource with all of these beautiful sounds created by these fabulous players. Thank you very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye bye.